Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your September 2021 love reading. For those of you in a romantic partnership or if it comes up, those of you in a temporary separation from your person. If you are single and looking for new love, please go and check out the singles readings that are already posted for you. Let's see what we have for you for September 2021, Leo. Ooh, got someone flipping over there already. Uh, just a reminder to everybody, this is a general reading, so not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. As always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. If you enjoy the readings that I put up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you always know whenever I update my channel. And the first card that came flipping out for you is Happy Happy. I love this card. I love this energy. Card number 26 reduces down into an 8. A lot of abundance flowing your way. A lot of opportunities. A lot of positive energy flowing your way. Some of you are very, very happy in your union, your, union, your partnership. Others of you, you are heading in that direction. This is a time when your love blossoms and grows. There's lots of blessings in your life. Your wishes, if you will, are manifest. So what are you hoping for? What are you wishing for? A next stage, a next uh, phase. Uh, whenever we see the eggs in this particular deck, this does represent uh, new beginnings, but also um, evolution, right? So evolution of a relationship. So if things have been on rocky ground, you've been having a rough patch so far, okay, there's some really positive energy that is coming in there for you. Um, if some of you might be looking to level up your relationship, move into the next phase, right? You're sitting there right on top of that brand new egg, right? The evolution of a relationship. We've got stars, we've got rainbows in that card. So this is really a very blissful time for you. A lot of really positive energy coming in for you. Let's see what your other card is here. And we have poised. Look at this. This is another one of my favorite cards in this deck. Poised is you are ready. You're ready for the next step, the next phase. You're ready for things to improve in your life, right? And a lot of people have had a lot of topsy-turvy energy and a lot of people are seeing this shift, seeing this turnaround. This is an energy of being excited for the future, being excited where you are headed on your journey, on your journey forward with your person, okay, or with your people even, right? Because there's more than one person quite often in a relationship, right? So you may have children. Some of you are thinking of starting a family, planning a family. Maybe you're thinking of moving in together with your person. Um, this could just be uh, a time of personal growth, happiness, enjoyment, whatever it happens to be. You are poised and you're ready and you're just welcoming the next step. You're welcoming some more positive, um, positive energy um, with that card. So it's really wonderful. This card quite often reminds me of the fool right? The fool is, I mean, you know, that fairy there is like right on the top of that pedestal, only standing on one leg, not even looking at where she's going, right? Um, at any minute could fall off, but she's all good with it, right? She doesn't really care. And the fool energy is kind of that same thing, that very excited energy, that jump for joy, that you don't necessarily always know where your road is taking you, but you're just excited for the ride. And so, very positive energy coming in there for you guys. So let's see what else we've got going on here for you. Messages, please, for Leo. So what is benefiting you most in the month ahead? And what do we have here? We've got the death card. Look at that. All right, so this is a very transformative energy. The death card, yes, sometimes can bring about endings. And hey, if that is what you are looking for, then that is going to help you out. I feel more though for, I mean, hey, sometimes depending where you are in a relationship, an ending brings you jump for joy energy. I'm just saying. So if you are looking forward to the future and if you are looking to end a relationship because maybe it's run its course, I gotta say, okay, then you're going to be very happy about it and you're ready for the next phase of your life. So uh, the death card certainly helps you wrap things up. I feel for the majority of you, though, that your relationship is entering the next phase. All right. It's a very transformative energy when we get the death card. And like I said, this is benefiting you. So out with one phase, one cycle and in with a new one. We've got the dawn of a brand new day right there. OK, so if you've been in a phase where you've been feeling a little stagnant, you've had a lot of problems 
Um, you've maybe just not had a lot of energy. Maybe you haven't even had a lot of time to put into your relationship, okay? This is where things start to shift focus a little bit for you and things really start to get better, okay? The light is really shining on you and it, like I said, especially with that, um, with that death card benefiting you, that is Scorpio energy. And by the way, for those of you who are keeping track, and you know the thing is the poised uh, poised card is actually number 48. Um, 4 and 8 trans, uh, translates down into a 12, which is hanged man energy. So you may have been, you may have been in um, a relationship rut, so to speak, for a while. Or you may just have been in a very kind of content place for a while. And now, and like maybe one of learning about your person of you know who they are and just kind of enjoying the moment without necessarily putting a lot of um, energy into moving forward if you know what I mean um, and because when we have the hanged man energy it's not not a negative energy right it's just one of not really a period of growth but it is a time when we uh, when we think about what is important, when we see things from the other person's point of view, we get a deeper understanding of our situation. All right, but we can also take that 12 that that breaks down to and we can reduce it further into a three, which is the Empress card, right? So the Empress is about birth, fertility, love, um, abundance as well. All right, so let's see what your challenge is for the month ahead. And we have justice, okay. So po possibly part of your issue, now first and foremost, the justice card does represent matters uh, of, um, sorry, legal matters, okay. Um, so there could be some sort of legal situation that uh, that either you or your person has been dealing with and it's representing a little bit of a challenge, okay. Maybe you're expecting things to wrap up and it's been dragging out for a while. Um, it could be that somebody is playing games, right, because usually the justice card represents truth, honesty, getting things out in the open, um, finding uh, solutions to things, right, good karma, okay, and even though it's challenging you, it is still good karma, okay, so, um, but things may, might have been feeling a little bit off balance, a little bit off kilter, so I'm feeling in this energy that for the most part, um, part of, uh, if you were have to have challenges in the month ahead, we all have challenges. Relationships are messy. Okay. Even if we've got a lot of great things going on. Okay. Truths coming to light may represent a bit of a challenge or perhaps someone is hiding something that they don't necessarily want to deal with. Okay. And sometimes that can be feelings. Okay. That can be, um, you know, thoughts as well. Okay. Underlying feelings sometimes, right? It could just be that, you know, there may be something that you're dealing with through the month as well that just kind of has you a little bit off balance. This could be you yourself. It could be something within your relationship. It could even be something external. We'll get your cards out and we'll see what else is going on for you there. So, but you may also have been feeling as though there's some injustice that's been dealt to you in some way. And, um, Again, it could relate to a, a legal matter of some, maybe there's a custody battle, maybe there's like, um, you know, like a divorce proceedings that have not quite wrapped up yet. And maybe those are preventing you from moving forward with your relationship. Um, there's uh, likely a good outcome, probably way later in the month, maybe even spilling into next month though, since that is a challenge. And when I go back to happy, happy, okay, there'll be some good news coming in, but those eggs take a while to hatch, right? So you're sitting on something, but with that justice there, it just may take a little while to come in because that can be delays as well, right? So delays in finding a resolution to something, okay? Um, all of those things. So um, the justice card is typically a very positive Libra energy, okay? Um, so it could be Libra season. Libra season starts on, uh, I think, the 23rd of September, if I'm not mistaken. So that's when you may start to see uh, some things wrap up for you, okay? Um, there might be just, again, some sort of delays that come in there. So let's just see what your overall outcome energy is guiding you for the month. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. There we go. Okay, look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. So happy, happy, poise. The death card benefits you. Again, um, you know, for those of you who, uh, who are kind of ready to let something go. Maybe you've been on the fence for quite a while, okay? Or there could just be something a little bit dishonest that has come to light and you may 
um, you, you know, you may just be in that energy like, nope, you know what, I've been down this road before, I'm not going to do it again. And, you know, this might be something that you've been dealing with for a while, uh, to be honest. But you could also be facing the truth yourself, right? Truth that you've been keeping hidden, right? Maybe you haven't been honest with yourself and maybe your relationship has run its course and you're just kind of looking forward to something a little bit different, a little bit better, right? And again, I don't feel that's the overall collective energy, but there's, I can't ignore the death card there. Okay. So, um, you know, the cards are what they, what they are, right. Um, and they're meant to, they're meant to have a message for you. So if that is you, this is something that you've probably been percolating on for quite a while. And, uh, relationships do run their course sometimes. Okay. There can be love there. There can be happy vibes, right? But it could be that you're more on the level of friendship rather than long-term romance, right? And, you know, sometimes that's just how things are. There's not necessarily major things wrong, um, you know, but sometimes it's just going nowhere fast, right? It's just not evolving. It's gotten to a certain phase where, no, you know what, maybe it's just not going to go any further than this. And with that justice card there being in your challenge energy, this may be a truth. This may be something that you know deep down that you haven't been willing to face. So if that is you, okay, then you've got some, uh, you've got some help from spirit coming in here. However, no matter what your situation is, we do have the wheel of fortune. So the wheels are turning. Uh, this is, um, faded destined, uh, des uh, how do I want to say that? This is faded energy. Okay. You are moving forward. You are on your destined path. You are exactly where you're meant to be at this stage in your life. Okay. You've got a lot of things in alignment for you. And even if something has been dragging on for a while with that justice card there, okay, it feels things will move forward and things will wrap up, right? Lady Luck uh, comes in with the Wheel of Fortune. This is also an indicator that you are at the end of a cycle and a new one is about to begin, okay? And one that is filled with opportunities, open doors, um, whatever it is that you are looking for, okay? You have the ability to create the life that you want to create, okay? Very, very, very positive with that Wheel of Fortune energy that comes in, right? Like your lucky day, so, and I think we already said a little bit earlier in your reading that, uh, especially with the death card there, and especially with, you know, poise that some of you may have been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. Uh, some of you may be feeling as though you're just kind of didn't have a lot of energy maybe to pour into your relationship, or you've just been kind of like in a certain phase for quite a while. Okay. And now you're looking, uh, you're really getting very excited. Of course, August was a very exciting time for you, Leo, right? We had a lot of crazy energy going on in August. And of course that really affected your sign, the new moon in Leo. We had the Lionsgate portal all both on the same day. And so really, uh, we have the full moons in Aquarius as well. So, um, uh, Jupiter, also, I uh, forget what date that was, but anyways, um, but Jupiter was also at play. I think it was the last full moon in Aquarius. So Jupiter was also at play as well. And Jupiter is that uh, planet of expansion and good luck and fortune. So uh, really, there's some wonderful energy that is really working with you, working for you on your side. But the Wheel of Fortune um, gets the Justice card moving. Okay, so let's pull the rest of your cards and let's see. Thank you very much. All right. See what else we've got for you. We've got one flipping out, flying out there already. So we'll take that one. Messages for Leo. Thank you very much. And let's see what came out here for you. We've got the eight of cups. There you go. Uh, the eight of cups. Some of you are walking away. Some of you, you are improving your situation. All right, let's pull the rest of your cards and we've got the universe crossing you there. The lovers beneath you. Recent past, the page of cups. Crowning you, the tower. There we go. The tower and you know what, honestly, the tower and the wheel of fortune, I swear, are sometimes joined at the hip. I would say it's probably about, I don't know, probably about 90, 95% of the time, whenever we get a tower or a wheel of fortune, they come hand in hand. Okay. Cause it's a shakeup. It's an energetic shakeup, right? Where things have felt stuck, stagnant. Okay. Uh, things are shaken up. Let's see your near future. We have the unknown in reverse. 
We have the page of buttons in reverse as you and representing you, your attitude, and also advice. External influences, we've got the Queen of Cups, Hopes and Fears, the Ten of Needles, and we have the Messenger as your overall outcome. Oh, wow. Now, um, I will say this is, uh, this particular tarot deck actually has a few extra cards in it. And you have um, two of them, three of them. You have three of them. So um, what they are is they are just a slightly different energy. The universe, right? This is the universe that surrounds us. We have the unknown. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. But we also have the messenger, which is actually your spirit guides. Okay, and that's coming in your outcome. So whatever situation that you are dealing with, you are very much being very guided and protected every single step of the way. So things that uh, th you've got a lot of faded energy that is coming out here. All right. And a lot of, uh, we'll call it divine intervention that is going on in your month ahead, right? All benefiting you. Okay. Um, helping you move forward, helping you make change, um, bringing in some more exciting energy. Okay. And ultimately helping you transform. Okay. With that, um, with that death card there. So, Let's get right to the heart of the matter, your current situation. We've got the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups, yes, can be about walking away, but it can also be transforming and walking towards something, okay? This has to do with your feelings, okay? And some of you are just in this energy of introspection. You're thinking about things. You're thinking about where you've come from, where you want to go. Um, for some of you, you are detaching from a situation and you are looking forward, okay, to walking towards a new life. And yes, some of you are actually detached already from your person and you're like, I'm just not feeling all the feels. I'm feeling as though we've kind of gone as far as we can go. And um, I'm not sure that, you know, this person being with me for the, you know, for the long term is actually for my, um, you know, for my higher good, right? Like sometimes again, relationships just run their course. And that can certainly be representative of the eight of not at the eight of cups, right? You've gotten to the eight. Okay. Can you make it to the nine? Maybe not, right? There's something maybe a little bit missing and you might have been percolating and thinking about this for quite some time, especially with that justice card, right? So um, uh, this could be something that you really, really taken your time to work through. Okay, but now you got epiphanies and revelations coming in. So anyways, but I feel for others of you, this is you leveling up in your relationship, right? You've been at this eight, maybe you've been there for a while and now you are about to level up. Okay, and you might you might as well be um, have been in this contemplative energy. When we have the death card, it is a slow transformation. So you may have been examining your situation for a while and you're like, yep, let's let's kick this up a notch. All right. Um, but for others of you, I think you've just been in a holding pattern with your relationship for a while and you've probably just been busy with other things in your life and just, you know, your day to day, your day to day things, your day to day problems, you know, your work, your career, maybe your home situation, maybe focused on your kids. And, um, you know, this is a time when you may have the opportunity to really reconnect with your person. We do have a Queen of Cups coming out here. We've got the Lover's card, right? And of course, we also have the Messenger, your spirit guides, guiding you, protecting you, helping you move forward, all right? And um, really giving you um, some very good advice and also helping lead the way, clear the path, if you will, okay? So it's big, big changes coming in here for you, all, all, all for your best and highest good. We've got the universe that is crossing you, okay? So um, this is, first of all, the universe actually really does have your back. However, with the universe, um, usually this is one of growth, evolution, all of these wonderful things, but when it's in your challenge position, it's almost like having it upside down, okay? Now, it is an intensely positive card. However, you may have been in this energy of being in stagnation, right, which is really what that is, it's like instead of moving forward and progressing, you've been stuck in one spot. Now, again, it could just be the energy that's around you, 
okay, very affected by planetary cycles and all of those things. And there was a lot of shakeups that happened in August, right? And a lot of people have been stuck in a rut for quite some time. So August could just be really the time when things are kicking up a notch and you're starting to see the effects in September, right? Things uh, take a little bit, uh, take a little bit of time to unfold sometimes. So uh, you could have some really very uh, big planetary energy that's been affecting your situation. All right. So it's like things have kind of been stuck um, for quite a while and they just haven't necessarily evolved. And again, that could be just the energy around you, but it could also be um, you yourself as well, right? Especially with that eight of cups in the center of your reading, you've been in that energy of contemplation, right? For quite some time. And again, some of you have just kind of gotten to that level and now you're like, okay, do we have what it takes to keep going? Right. Or do I need to split off and do I need to start uh, a different journey on myself? Right. Again, if that is you, you've got the wheel of fortune, things will work out. Okay. You've got the messenger, right? Your spirit guides are guiding you, protecting you every step of the way. You got the death card coming out here to help you. And even though the justice card is in your challenge position, I feel a justice, a justice is here with that sort of truth and honesty, okay, to get you to move, okay, shall we say, okay, to get those, get those wheels turning, all right, for you, because there may be just something that you've had hidden for a while. Beneath you, this is your underlying feelings, your subconscious, and this is also, um, you know, what is motivating you, moving you forward. This can also be your distant past as well. So first, I'll address those of you who, um, you know, may be contemplating walking away a different life, maybe. All right. You may have, you may really have a lot of underlying feelings that, yes, this person is a soulmate and you've had a lot of, um, you know, a lot of really good connection and a really positive partnership with this person. But you may ultimately know beneath it all that even a soulmate is not necessarily here for a lifetime. They may have been here to teach you something, teach you about what you want, teach you about where you've been, teach you about love and partnerships as well. Okay, so you might be coming into that realization here. All right, and we do have a revelation there with the tower. Okay, but you may have come into this realization that, you know what, yeah, sometimes soulmates are here for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, right? And you might be thinking that, you know what, maybe this was just a seasonal, a season, right? They were here for a while and there we go, right? Because there was something that was very beneficial and was a really good partnership. And again, it could be that it's just evolved to the point where maybe you're friends more than lovers, okay? But I feel for the rest of you there, the general collective, okay, I feel deep down you've got a really strong connection and a really strong bond with your person when we've got the lover's card. This is Gemini energy that's coming out with this one. And, you know, it is about balance and harmony. And it is about long-term partnerships quite often, a deepening commitment with people. All right. It is also about choices, though. So again, some of you have some have choices to make, right? Do we, do I stay? Do I go? Do we evolve? Do we not evolve? Right? Because there is this transitional energy that something has to change a little bit, right? Something has to move forward. Your recent past, we've got the page of cups and the page of cups is very interesting energy. First and foremost, this can have to do with children. Okay. This can be messages of love. Now, um, energy is fluid as is time. All right. And depending on your situation and depending on your own actions on certain things, this could be your recent past, like as early as yesterday, you could actually still be in this energy today. It's on its way out. But this can also sometimes represent like a week ago, two weeks ago, a couple of years ago, even. And the pages, yes, they can represent children. Some of you might be thinking that, you know what, in, in this deep contemplation with this Eight of Cups, you might be thinking of children or you may, this has led you up to your, um, your current situation. And you might be thinking about children or your biological clock is ticking away. And, you know, you might have children of your own already and you're thinking, okay, is this this person that I want to be like a step parent or something, right? Is this, is this person someone that I even want to introduce to my kids? Some of you may have been thinking about having kids and starting a family. And again, you're in that contemplation. Is this, um, you know, is this really what I want, right? Is this the person that I'm going to be with and start a family with, right? I also feel for others of you that you've recently gotten some good news. Um, and it does represent children, especially the page of cups, happy, happy. We are sitting on a new egg about to give birth to something. So I feel as though there was possibly a pregnancy announcement, 
uh, in the not too distant past, okay, or could have just happened very recently for you. Okay, so um, very happy, very positive news, and this was probably something unexpected. Um, the Page of Cups quite often is a surprise, a little bit of an unexpected energy, and the Tower is a big surprise. All right, so this may have come as quite the shock uh, to you, okay? It could even have been something like your person, um, you know, just saying to you one day that, you know what, I want to have another another child or I want to start a family and you're just like, huh? Right, because maybe you haven't been there or maybe you weren't thinking that way at that particular time. But the Page of Cups also brings an innocence. It brings uh, a curiosity as well. And it also brings a lot of possibilities, and so I do feel for those of you who have been in this contemplative, do I stay, do I go energy, I feel as though um, that you have been curious about the world around you, curious about the possibilities, right? You've maybe been opening your mind, thinking a little bit differently, maybe thinking a little bit more about the future than you were before. Crowning you. Hmm. Crowning you. Oh, also with that page of cups. Some of you are in a very newer relationship, by the way. Okay. Uh, you're all in different phases, different stages. Some of you, you've been with your person for maybe a few weeks. Others of you for many years, right? So you're all in a different, uh, different position, but the pages do represent new. So I'm feeling some of you are in a, uh, a newer relationship. And uh, I'm thinking that you're starting to have a lot of feelings here, especially the lover's card beneath you. Okay, and uh, you're trying to sort things out. But with the tower coming in, um, I think there's some sort of uh, big surprise that's coming in for you. Now, the tower in your crowning position, okay, indicates first and foremost, crowning position, your crown chakra, okay? This is where we get revelations. This is where we get epiphanies. And we already said earlier, um, earlier in your reading, with the poised card, when we add four and eight together, it's 12. And when we're in the hanged man energy, yes, first and foremost, there's not really a lot going on, okay? But secondly, we are going within and we are looking at all perspectives, all angles, everyone's point of view, and we are getting enlightened. We are getting that aha moment. We're getting that light bulb moment. And that's exactly what the tower brings in. Sudden unexpected change, a revelation, an epiphany, something that blows your mind, so to speak, right? So some of you, again, surprise pregnancy maybe, okay, or some some sort of surprise there with, uh, with children. It's like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that, okay? Others of you, you've been in contemplation for quite some time, and this is where that light bulb goes off. And you're like, yeah, you know what? I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I've been feeling this for so very long, and boom. There is your epiphany and you're, you're just gonna, you're just gonna shake up your life. And let me tell you with this being in your crowning position. Okay. You know, this already, this is not a surprise to you. Okay. It might feel like a surprise, but when you really do look at things underneath, okay, your subconscious, your conscious. All right. If the tower was down in here, Okay, you may be uh, like hiding something or you may be just really in this deep contemplation and not willing to face anything. But with this up in your crowning position, up in your conscious, you know it. You're looking at things and you are like, yep, you know, you know what? Out with the old, in with the new. You're looking at shaking things up a little bit. Um, this could be uh, could be in very much in relation to the energy that was around in August. Right. And we had your energy. Um, you know, we had the new moon and all those things. But. It's really related to the Aquarian full moons that we had. We had two of them. We had one of them at the end of July, July, what was it? The 23rd, I think it was. And then we also had August 23rd. We had two bookended um, Aquarian full moons. The second one came in a few days after Uranus went into retrograde. Uranus is the modern ruler of Aquarius. We also had that full moon going toe to toe with Jupiter. And Jupiter is the energy of expansion. Yes, indeed it is. However, and it's also one of luck. Okay. But it can also shake things up. All right. It amplifies all the good. It amplifies anything challenging. The Aquarian full moon is when we kind of get that 
uh, a little bit of those um, kind of epiphany moments, right? Because, you know, that innovative way of thinking. Aquarian energy also brings in a certain amount of rebelliousness, as does the Uranus retrograde. And a lot of people have been the instigators of their own tower moments, shaking things up. All right. And those towers always come in for your best and highest good. Always, always, always. Something's got to go for something new to come in, whether that is beliefs, ways of thinking, getting things out in the open, revelation of secrets and desires, okay, um, bringing feelings to, to light to the surface, okay, having um, a little bit of a shock to your system. Sometimes it can be a paradigm shift as well, right? Life will never necessarily be the same. It'll be different and it will ultimately be better, but it is a bit of a tumultuous, topsy-turvy energy. And with that tower coming in with that wheel of fortune, okay, this is something that is really beneficial to you. So where you've been stuck in a rut for a while, there hasn't been a, any growth, um, anything like that, it can hold on to your hat, okay, quite literally. But ultimately, the tower... Quite often, yes, it can represent endings, okay, sudden endings, okay, especially with the death card, all right, so, um, but those of you who are thinking along those lines, okay, you are the mastermind of your own tower moment, okay, you have this epiphany, you've got this revelation, you're like, no, you know what, I've been in this energy for a while, and now is the time, and you may just wake up one morning and pull the plug, but again, ultimately, with the death card benefiting you, this may actually be a mutual agreement. You and you, you may actually find out that you and your person are actually on the same page because the lovers, um, the lovers beneath you here is one of a balanced partnership, right? Two people on the same page. So you might actually get the revelation here that you and your person are actually on the same wavelength, right? Hence that death card there that actually benefits you. All right, the wheel of fortune that benefits you as well. Okay, so this may and this may again be something that's been brewing for a while, and you may actually just really be pleasantly surprised. But again, you could just wake up one morning and go, "Nope, today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to do it." Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Okay, and even if you don't necessarily do it that day, you're certainly planning ahead and you're taking steps to do that. Okay, but I think others of you, you do just have this sudden burst, this sudden shift of energy that comes in here. And again, you've been stuck for a while. And when we've been stuck in a rut for a while and something has needed to evolve and change with that death card and we haven't taken steps, we haven't taken action, that's when spirit sends us the tower to get us out of our comfort zone so that we can do something a little bit different. And in this case here, this is a very happy tower moment all around okay a lot of people are afraid of the tower okay as soon as they see a tower come up in their reading they're like, oh my god my life is over my life is over oh my god what am i going to do what am i going to lose everything it's not what it is all right the reason people are afraid of the tower is because it is something unexpected it is quite often a surprise most of the time it is actually something within us something that hits our crown chakra and we wake up and we have that epiphany we've got that awakening and we're like having that holy crap moment all right yes sometimes it is external okay and that external energy now if that tower was over here i would say that someone is coming to you but with this being in your crowning position this is your the mastermind okay and spirits helping you by sending you this massive burst of energy and possibly messages that are coming in through your crown chakra. In our near future, near future we have the unknown, um, but it's in the reverse. So with the universe as your challenge, the tower in your crowning position goals, thoughts, and possibilities, okay, we have the messenger, which is spirit, bringing you in some information, some epiphanies, but in your near future, we've got the unknown in the reverse. Normally, the unknown in the, uh, in the upright is all about having faith, trusting your intuition, trusting that there's maybe a higher power at work, trusting in yourself. When it's in the reverse, there's a blockage. 
There's a reluctance to do something. There's ignoring your intuition that comes in there. So trust your intuition because there is massive major me messages and energy coming in here for you. But with the unknown in the reverse, there's also that blockage. Okay, that justice card, there's a little bit of a blockage there as well. Okay, so trust your intuition, all right, in all of your endeavors, right? We should always trust our intuition anyway, and we're quite often taught to ignore it, right? We're taught to sit there and, you know, not trust our gut, and we're taught to analyze things and all of these things. And while, yes, that has, uh, that has a place for us, uh, sometimes we just have to go with our gut instinct and our deep inner knowing, right? We've got it there for a reason. So, uh, so sometimes there's a reluctance there. So you may have this epiphany, this revelation, this tower moment that comes in, but then you kind of maybe ignore it for a bit. Okay. Or push it to the side a bit. Now it could be that if you are considering, um, you know, uh, leaving a relationship because, you know, I hate to start keep harping on it, but it is here. It is coming up. Okay. It could be that you know what you need to do, but you're reluctant to do it. All right. Or it's, you're, it's not the right time, or you're reluctant to hurt someone's feelings who you ultimately may actually really care about, care about and care for. You may be second guessing yourself there with that energy. Okay. Um, you know, for those of you who have another kind of surprise coming in there. Okay. Uh, again, with that unknown, um, you might just be in the energy of, okay, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, I know that our life is going to change. I know that my life is going to change, but I'm not entirely sure. And so you might just be in a little bit of a holding pattern. Okay. Um, and we do sometimes get stuck and then it's like, Oh, Oh, something's changing. And it's like, Oh no, I'm going to go back into my shell a little bit. I'm just going to pretend that it's not happening. I'm going to put my head in the sand. Okay. So, um, so there is a need there to, um, really have faith. Okay, and trust that things are working out, things are unfolding exactly as they're meant to for you. We've got the three of pentacles, uh, the three of buttons in this in this deck, the three of pentacles in reverse for you here. This is you, your current attitude, and also advice. So the three of buttons in reverse. This is an energy. Normally it is one of teamwork, collaboration, all of those wonderful things. So there is a lack of that here for some of you. All right. And again, this, uh, you know, imbalance or disharmony that you may be dealing with. Okay. And it's a repeating message that's coming up here again. Okay. You might not be committed to this person. You might not want to further your, your commitment level as well. All right. A little bit of dissension in the ranks. Okay. For others of you, I feel that this is a temporary energy. Okay. Maybe you just don't feel connected to your person at the moment. Right. And again, we already have like some stagnant energy that's been around, right? We've got the death card there that's coming in to help you evolve in your relationship. And sometimes, you know what, with this being pentacles, um, this is actually your only, yes, it is your only pentacle coming up in your reading. So you may have some financial situations that you're dealing with. You and your person could just be working on your own projects and things at the moment, and you just might not have been feeling connected with each other, right? And you're just feeling as though you're just being a little bit stuck in a rut. Okay, so of course we do have uh, some very big help coming in here for you. As far as advice goes, this invites you to have a look at your current situation, right? And I feel some of you are already doing that. Look at your situation. Is there room to grow? Is there room to work together to achieve our goals, our dreams? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to be? All right, the three of uh, the three of pentacles, there may be another person um, in the mix here. I'm not getting uh, like a third party like cheating vibes or anything like that. I don't have a devil coming out, anything like that. Um, but I feel like third person as though, you know, starting a family, um, you know, children in the mix. OK, there may be some external influences that are around. Right. Sometimes three is a crowd. And sometimes we need to work through those a little bit, right? Um, especially if we've got like, um, you know, friends that mean well, but ultimately they just kind of meddle and they really don't help necessarily because of course the advice that they give is advice that they would want to hear or it's based off of their experience, right? Even though they mean well.
And so, um, but you may have this, you know, three people thrown into the loop here, right? It's like, okay, we're two people in a partnership here. And now as there's a third one coming in and holy crap, I don't know what that's going to do to our lives, right? Especially if someone has like a surprise pregnancy or something like that. It's like, whoa, baby. Now there's all of a sudden three people. I don't know where we're going to go with this, right? So it's a little bit of topsy-turvy energy there. So um, Spirit invites you with that three of pentacles there to have a look at your current situation and really think things through and but without overthinking right can you commit to this person can you do something a little bit different if you've been both kind of working on your own things working on your own projects your own careers and maybe haven't had a lot of time to spend together maybe that is something you need to look at right can we can we take our relationship to that next level okay do we share values do we share common goals right do we share all of these things and if the answer is yes great death card is there to help you move forward, right? That tower, that little bit of a revelation that comes in that shifts your energy for the better, right? But ultimately that wheel of fortune is everything's going to be okay, whatever it is you decide. External influences, we've got the queen of cups. Now, first and foremost, this is the energy that is around you, okay? So love is in the air, okay? Um, love is in the air. This is a time when if you want your relationship to blossom and grow, the love is here. Okay. Um, and again, sometimes we just kind of get, uh, sometimes we just kind of get wrapped up in our own things. Um, we do have the eight of cups again in the middle of your reading. And then with the queen of cups around you, okay, the energy influencing your situation. Yes, there is a possibility here to level up to that next, uh, to that next state of your relationship. The Queen of Cups is also that uh, healing energy that comes in. It's very comforting. It's a very loving, um, very calm energy, right, that, uh, that is here helping you out. Whether you level up with somebody or not, the Queen of Cups is here giving you uh, the guidance that you are looking for, okay, giving you the empathy that you may need to perhaps part ways for someone, showing you that you can heal after a disappointment. All right, so whether you are leveling up or leveling out, the Queen of Cups is here to give you that comfort, that guidance, and that healing energy that you would need, okay? Um, but I also feel for, for others of you that there may be someone else in your, in your life there that just does have some influence on your situation. The queen of cups can represent a person. Okay. And this can be, uh, this can be a loving friend who, um, you know, has some words of advice for you and they're really trying to help you out in your, in your situation. It could be, uh, someone's, um, someone's mother, maybe, um, sometimes that Queen of Cups can represent a mother figure, all right? Um, and it's not you, okay? It's not you because this is external. This could possibly be your person who has a lot of love to give as well. And especially with this Page of Cups, depending on when you watch your reading, there may be some sort of surprise expression of love, of growth um, all around you. Okay, this person may actually extend uh, some sort of proposal of sorts per se. But the Queen of Cups can also possibly represent, I do go right back to the Justice card there because some of you might be dealing with some sort of legal situation that you're trying to wrap up here and it could involve this Queen of Cups person, okay, someone who... Um, you know, someone uh, like a, a past person, something like that, but they are coming up in the upright. So this may be an amicable thing that's going on. Okay. Especially if there's a divorce, maybe someone just waited years to get that divorce, or it could be something like a custody battle or something like that, or just drawing up some legal documents, legal papers. And with that queen of cups being in the upright, okay, it's just feels like more, more like a lengthy delay, Okay, probably a lengthy delay. Okay, it's just something that just has been delayed and it could be pandemic related only because, um, you know, the court systems sometimes are backed up a little bit, right? And, um, uh, you know, I don't know about where you live, but where I live, um, I know there's like, uh, apparently like years delays now or something like that with certain, certain things through the court system. So, um, it could be those kind of delays there and maybe your your ex person or your person's past person is just looking to move on. They're like, okay, yeah, you know what, we've healed things here. We're on we're on um, you know, we're on good terms. All right, and we just need this documents done, right? We just need it, we just need it signed, we just need that sealed, all right, so that we can um so that we can move forward. So let me just 
very quickly here. Let me just see what else is influencing the external environment here. What other external influences do we have, please? Whoa, that's a lot. No, we're not taking those away. Thank you. It's hard to tell. I have a little mini baby deck. I take I take it with me sometimes. Sorry, guys. My camera cut off there a little bit. So let's see what we've got out for you here. Okay. We've got the Hanged Man, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Pentacles uh, coming up there. So uh, as we said earlier, I've mentioned the Hanged Man a couple of times. So yeah, there's been something that's kind of been a little bit stagnant for quite some time, right? And again, while you've been kind of uh, in that energy of um, not going forward right too quick, um, that's where uh, things have kind of like come to light, come to the surface, those light bulb moments, right? Something kind of sitting there for some time just not really moving forward we've got the knight of pentacles with the uh, six of pentacles coming out here as well the knight of pentacles indicates that uh, there may be a little bit of a surprise coming towards you with your uh, possibly with your person with the page of pen with sorry with the page of cups there okay someone is looking to make a long-term commitment a long-term investment with you this may come as a little bit of a surprise with the six of pentacles which quite often brings with it a bit of a surprise because um, it could be that your person okay you've been kind of in this in a certain energy for quite some time and you know your person may all of a sudden step up to the plate and they want to invest in you invest in your uh, connection your partnership for the long term the knight of pentacles does not offer that pentacle um, you know without really thinking about it and knowing what they want okay very slow moving night okay so again slow moving night with the hanged man you're like you might have been like oh I'm kids is this ever going anywhere all right but this may come as a little bit of a surprise but it, it is an equal investment opportunity there okay it is the law of giving and receiving this person is willing to put in as much as they get out okay you meet in the middle you meet halfway balance in a relationship I also feel here with this external influences, those of you who have been waiting um, for some sort of legal situation to, uh, you know, to come to fruition, um, again, that hanged man energy, right? You've been waiting for quite a while in some cases, and it feels as though it's going to wrap up. The energy is already here. You're on your way to completion. Again, there might still be some delays there with that hanged man energy, and uh, this is going to wrap up. You're getting um, whatever it is that you are supposed to get. Okay, someone has a financial offer uh, that is coming in here. It may come with a little bit of surprise because it could just be one of those things where you've waited for this for so long that you almost kind of gave up on it or you just resigned yourself to the fact that you're going to be waiting until the cows come home. Okay, for this to for this to wrap up. Okay, but um, you know, but if you're not if you're not working on a legal situation um, with this Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, plus the Queen of Cups, there, uh, there may be a little bit of financial relief somewhere along the way coming in for you. Whether that's like a, a, a bonus or a promotion or something that comes in out of the blue. I mean, it is Pentacles, right? So. Um, it's certainly first and foremost, especially with the six can certainly represent your money. Um, it could be like relief on a bill with the queen of pentacles here. Maybe a family member um, has some money that they hand down or something like that. So uh, there may, certainly might be some financial relief for some of you there. Your hopes and your fears. We've got the ten of swords. And, you know, I gotta say, some of you are really hoping that you are at the end of the road. But you may be hoping that you can finalize something, shall we say, without actually causing someone a lot of pain. Because ultimately, even if you are looking at leaving a relationship, and I, I, gotta, I gotta say it's probably not a lot of you, but it is here. Ultimately, you have some deep feelings for this person and you might not want to hurt them. And let's face it, the Ten of Swords is a painful ending, okay? Something that causes you pain, something that causes someone else pain, but ultimately something that may be inevitable, right? And as we already said earlier, this may have run its course. 
Others of you may actually be fearful that if your relationship has kind of been in a bit of a holding pattern for a while, you might be afraid that this might actually be an ending. You might be actually be overthinking something, right? You're like, oh my God, where's this going to go? Um, but this could also have to do with, a, um, with, uh, you know, a legal situation that you've been dealing with as well. Okay. You're looking for some troubles, some issues to be over. You're really hopeful that they will be and that you can move forward, that you can move on. Um, but it's like been a long drawn out, painful process for some of you there. Right. So, um, you know, ultimately you're looking for, uh, you're looking for some sort of clarity, some epiphany, some news, um, all of that kind of thing, fresh communication. Um, you're looking for some fresh energy, to come in right so um ultimately i feel you're more very hopeful um that you that you will have that than anything else um but uh you know but certainly for those of you who are thinking of walking away okay or actually i shouldn't really say walking away moving forward to a better situation why don't we call it that why don't we say that because it doesn't feel like you're running away sometimes when we say walking away it's almost like oh my god i'm out of here i'm running away and I don't really feel that that's what it is, okay? Um, I feel as this has been thought about for a long time, okay? But ultimately, you don't, might not, you probably don't want to hurt your other person. Your overall outcome, we have the messenger. And I love this card. This is about your spirit guides. They are protecting you. They are guiding you. Pay very, 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 very close attention to your intuition, especially with the tower there, something blowing your mind, okay? The unknown in the reverse. Trust the messages that are coming in. They're coming from your higher self. They're coming from your spirit guides. Pay attention to your dreams, signs, symbols, synchronicities. All right, all of those things, you've got a lot of great energy that is helping you out here, helping move you forward, helping wrap things up, help, helping improve your situations, helping you level up, helping you level out, if that is you, all of these wonderful, wonderful things, right? And, you know, if, you know, if we really have a close look at your reading, right, we've got one, two, where'd the other one go? Um, we've got three of the extra cards that came out of this deck. Okay, and they're all very high level spirit cards. All right, we've got the lovers and the tower. Okay, so really we've got two major arcana and then three that are very spiritually guided, right? Very much related to that. So, and that is, so that is what one, two, three, four, five out of 10. So half of your cards, half of your energy is spirit guiding you to where you're meant to be, okay? Faded energy is really helping you, really helping move you forward. All right, that Wheel of Fortune helping move you forward, transform the Death card, helping you transform. Um, big changes ahead of you guys, okay, Leo? But ultimately with the Messenger, you're going to be okay no matter what your situation happens to be. So let's just get a couple more cards for the outcome, please. A couple more cards here for the outcome. The Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles for the second time, and we have the King of Cups there as well, okay? So the Five of Cups, yes, some of you may let something go, okay? But ultimately, this puts you in a better position, King of Cups, okay? This puts you in the driver's seat. The Kings are leaders taking back control of your life and being very okay, okay? And then that way you can, in the future, partner up with different people. You may actually even focus on your career, maybe even, okay? Um, but this does move you forward. And that's the second three of pentacles, except this one's in the upright, okay? So you come back more into alignment with where you're meant to be, okay? And again, you're in the driver's seat with that king of cups, um, others of you, the five of cups, this is you understanding the messages from spirit. And it's like you're kissing something goodbye, right? You see these cups have actually spilled into the ocean with this particular card, right? And, you know, they're being kissed goodbye. There's the two cups, um, right behind as well. So it feels as though here is that working together with your person, Okay, you may actually, um, some of you may actually um, seek out someone's assistance. 
Um, the Three of Cups can be one of uh, seeking assistance or guidance, but this can also be you listening to your spirit guides, okay, and learning a little bit of something from them, okay, but there might be, um, you know, but there also might be three of you in your relationship, okay, in a very positive way, and you're, you know, building a future, building a life, right, and we're leaving behind any kind of fear, worry, doubt, any old emotions, right? Out with the old, in with the new. And again, that's what uh, the death card is there helping you for. All right. And ultimately, you're leveling up in your relationship with the king of cups, because even in your external environment, we have the queen of cups. And then, you know, and then you come out with that king of cups. Okay. So this is a very guided relationship, a guided partnership. Okay. Whatever, whatever you happen to be whatever state you happen to be in. All right, really coming back into alignment there with that King of Cups. And of course, that King that king is all about taking back control, moving forward, all right? And um, ultimately, that brings in a lot of love and a lot of romance as well. Uh, the King of Cups tends to sweep you off your feet sometimes, okay? So, um, you know, it's like everything really does um, evolve and work, um, move forward. Uh, exactly as it's meant to for you. Again, spirit guides. So pay attention, sign symbol synchronicities, right? We've got two threes coming out there, two three of pentacles. So pay attention to that. We've got that hanged man energy, which we knew was going to probably come out at some point. Okay. You've got all of this lovely spiritual guidance coming in the wheel of fortune. Okay. All of this wonderful energy that is helping you along your path. So let us leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading here with a couple of lovers oracles. Last messages, please, for Leo. I think your reading went a little bit long, but anyway, that's okay. Last messages, please, for Leo. There's one. There's two. And I'm going to get three since we have two three of pentacles, right? One in the, up, one in the upside down and one in the, whoa, one in the uh, upright. Okay, we'll take the one that flew out. There you go. There's your first card. And it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. All right. And that's what you're doing with that eight of cups, it feels. Okay. Uh, there's your next card. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control very much like this, let things run their course and things certainly are evolving exactly the way they're meant to for you, whether it feels like it or not. And there's your final card. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Now that's interesting energy. All right, that's interesting energy. And it could be your Knight of Pentacles, okay, if that is your person. It could be, again, the Page of page of Cups there, your Knight of Pentacles. It could be that they actually come across as being very practical, but then they reveal the depths of their feelings to you, and you're like, whoa, baby. All right, so um, your situation certainly is evolving. That is for sure. However... Um, you know, earlier I said we don't have a third party situation here and I'm, I'm not getting that energy. Okay. However, there may be somebody out there. If you are that per, if you are one of those people who are looking to move forward with your life and your relationship has run its course with the three of pentacles in reverse and secret admirer, there may be somebody else out there for you. And that's why spirit is guiding you forward because there's something better for you out there just saying. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a fantastic month. Okay. Certainly got a lot of great energy on your side. Okay. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.